This is the Spartan Obstacle Challenge presented by Fit Aid. third obstacle is the sandbag carry. And these athletes are gonna have to knock out 30 air squats here at the bottom, take these sandbags up to the top, around the bend and back down, then tag your teammate, they'll do the same. The first team to finish is your winner. Sandbag carry is all about who's the champion with the heart and who's got the strongest legs, and I, it's obvious you're talking to me for that reason. I think this is an all-out sprint, as hard as we got. Uh, I'm not too worried about the poodle. Seems like he got in the fight with your chihuahua earlier. So the barbed wire. Look, altitude is just uh, another another level of adversity. Honestly, uh, it's only a few seconds. So if you're willing to just think about that in the back of your head, willing to suffer that long, you know, victory lasts forever. So I think you hear that? Right now, the black team with Isaiah Vidal. Emily Bridgers, you guys have a 13 second gap over Team Red. Boo, Hunter. About to be 30. Ms. Perez, you guys ready to go? Yeah. There's always the next level that you can get to and push a little harder, go a little more into the pain cave. <laughs> the pain cave. <laughs> <laughs> to your marks, get set, go! 30 air squats out of the gates, and man, they are moving. They've got to get their hips below their knees, and they got to drive their hips all the way back up to a full standing position. 30 quick air squats to burn out the quads, get a little lactic acid going, and then to take on the sandbag carry, which is going to be a sprint, a short, explosive drive. 25 squats in right now. Going. Emily Bridgers with the lead. Perez giving suit, giving chase right now, headed up that climb. Their legs are on fire. They're going to see their quads and glutes are fading. And as they get to the top, it is a maximal sprint, lactic buildup. And Bridgers has made it to the top and around. She's on her way back down. Perez is right on her heels. The descent is going to challenge their quads in a totally different way. All that stability, the more you break, the more you resist it, the harder it is on your quads. You've got to learn to just open up and let it go. Bridgers is taking it with a little bit more confidence, taking a few more risks, and that's why she's got the gap that she needs. Perez is going to have to just open up a little bit if she wants to give Hunter a chance to pull this race close. Isaiah's already started on his squats, and he's knocking them out quickly and methodically. He said being short and powerful was the key, and it looks like it was. Perez is across the finish line, and Hunter's beginning. Try to drive his hips all the way forward at the top, knocking him out. He's got a lot of ground to make up right now. Isaiah is off to a huge start on his squats. He's already done with his 30, and he is off and running. Remember, folks, every second counts. Look at the power that he has as he climbs up that hill. You can see that speed start to fade at the top as it really kicks up an incline. Remember, we're at 11,500 feet. So that incline, that elevation, playing a huge factor to combine with that incline. Hunter making his way up as well. But look at the risk that Isaiah Vidal has taken on the descent. Just a few seconds more and he's across the finish. Woo! Team Black has taken it. But Hunter now has to push hard because he's got to regain some of those time, some of those seconds that he just lost in the previous race. He's got to push down this hill. Every second still counts. Hunter McIntyre on the descent, bringing it home. Breathing heavy. Quads on fire. And Team Red crosses the finish line as well. <laughs> that was maybe 45 seconds long, but I would say I've been in the pain cave today. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a pretty hardcore race, huh? Yeah. Woo. Well, here's the results. Jackie and Hunter, you guys finished in the time of two minutes and 30 seconds. Isaiah, Emily, you guys wrapped this thing up in a time of 2.05. So that's a 25 second gap. You came in with a 13 second lead and you've stretched it out to 38 seconds. We're three events down. Hunter, Jackson, you guys only have two events left to close that gap. You got it.
Think you can do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're headed on to the next one, guys. Great work. Let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>